Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wrath of the Empire vlogs. So this one today is going to be all about breaking down our script. So part of the producer's job is to take the script from your writer or your director, or in this case the same person, um, and to pull it apart, take every element out of it, really strip it down to its bare bones, so take every prop, every costume, every visual effect, everything, and list it all down so you can see exactly what you need to make your film. Um, now this is quite a long process, it can take a little while, it's also quite eye-opening sometimes because you can suddenly realise, oh god, we've got way too many locations or we've got way too many visual effects. Um, and this is really where the final iteration of the script will come from. So we, we're the script is in a place we're really happy with, now we're going to break it down and then based on the breakdown we will make any changes that we need to do. So to break down the script you can do it in a whole host of different ways, you can use software, you can do it manually, you can do yourself, you know, do it however you want. I am personally going to be using a piece of software called Studio Binder. It's um, available online, it costs money, it is quite expensive. Um, again, we're not paid to say that. We've paid for it ourselves, we're using it ourselves, it's completely optional if you want to use it. Um, but yeah, let's jump on in and I'll show you how to break it down. Simple layout, pretty easy to use. And what I've done is I've loaded up one of the scenes from the script. So this is scene 16, as you can see there. Um, it is an exterior scene in a grass field in a forest, and it follows on from a previous scene slightly later on. Um, it's not very long, so it should be pretty easy to break down. But as you can see here, we've already got a couple of things that are broken down for us, because I have set them previously in other scenes to automatically break down for me. So I don't have to click on every single cast member and every single lightsaber every single time to mark it as an element, it will just do it for me. Um, so as you can see here, we have Malaika and Master Shakar, who are our two cast members in the scene. So we can see that also from up here, as you can see, number four and five, they are the ID tags that are given to those characters. And from here, you can see that we have one lightsaber. Now, when you are marking things as elements, so if I am to highlight Master Shakar, the element pops up there, and then I can pick what I want. So if he's a cast member, I click cast member, if it's an extra, prop, etc, etc. Now, one of the limitations currently with Studio Binder is that you can only have one element selected at a time. Now, with a lightsaber, that's, that's difficult because a lightsaber is both a prop and a visual effects at the same time. So I created my own element, which is just named lightsaber, which I know refers to the actual hilt of the lightsaber, which is going to be a physical prop and then the actual blade, which will be a visual effect. Um, and as you can see here, if you look down here, it's not the best color ever, but it has automatically highlighted the word lightsaber for me. So as you can see, it's actually highlighted the lightsaber as part of the dialogue. So what we want to do is we actually want to remove that because that is not an element we want to break down because that is something that's spoken and we do not therefore need to break it down because there is no visual effect there, there's no prop. So yeah, so it's pretty much a blank slate to to break down so you just you know it's easy you just start from the top so we could go ahead and we could highlight master Jakar and mark him as an element but we don't need to because studio band has done that for us so what we're really looking for is anything that you need to think about beforehand before you shoot so let's have a look so they stand on a hill with the trees surrounding the small field they stand upon again don't really need to mark anything that that's all down to the location and we already know we need that location so it doesn't matter um so we've got the dialogue again don't really need to read too much into the dialogue because it's not what we're looking for what we're looking for are practical and visual elements that we're going to need to add afterwards or we're going to need to bring on set with us so we're mainly actually going to be looking at the actual descriptive text so Malika covers her eyes with a thin cloth so we know we need here we need some thin cloth so we mark that as costume we could also mark it as prop to be honest doesn't really make a difference is whatever really works for you I'm gonna mark it as a costume um, Master Jakar takes his lightsaber and activates it so we know we need a lightsaber so I could mark these individually so this is actually referring to just the hilt and then the activates it part is the actual visual effect but for the sake of making my life easier and not having a million things broken down, I'm just going to mark it as lightsaber and then add element. And as you can see, Studio Binder actually missed that. So because it will, it will only highlight the first um, iteration of a word, so it won't highlight, as you can see, the first time it says Master Jakar, it's actually the second time, but it's only highlighted once. It won't highlight every one of them for you, which is fine. But with something like a lightsaber, we need to know how many times we need a lightsaber visual effect in this scene. So we do need to highlight every single one of them. 
So then it says here, a green blade ignites from the hilt humming in the background. So we don't need to highlight the a green blade ignites because that comes under the lightsaber effect. But it does say here, the hilt humming in the background. Now, you don't have to highlight every single sound you're going to need. But it's very useful. The ones that are specifically noted in the script, it's very useful to highlight them so you know in advance you need to get that sound prepared. So we can highlight that as sound, add element, and then... Yeah, there we go. Let's add them. And as you can see, every time we add something, they pop up here. And this is specific to this scene as well. So these are only from this scene, not from other scenes. Okay, so we'll move on. Mashka approaches Malek and begins swing for her. She dodges the strokes as she continues speaking. So we could highlight this as a stunt. Because we are going to need to choreograph this. You know, we're going to need to make sure it's done properly. And it's safe, of course. So we'll, we could also highlight this. She dodges the strokes, but again... It's not really necessary to be that picky because this is all part of the same move. It's all part of the same part of the actual scene. So we don't need to do it all. Um, so again, we can go down a beat, force these all. Malika dives underneath Shakar's blade and they return to face each Okay, so she dives underneath Shakar's blade. So Shakar's blade is going to be a visual effect. In fact, it's going to be a lightsaber. So we know that we're going to need the hilt and the visual effect to be added. I did not do that properly. I'm going to do that again. So we click lightsaber if I can find it. This is a bit tedious. And then add element. And then there we go. It's highlighted. And the turn to face another parallel. Shikar resumes his form two stance. So again, Malika dives underneath. We could put this down as a stunt because again, we're going to need. We could potentially need a crash mat or some form of protection for her. We may not, but it's useful to have it so we don't miss it. Um, Okay, so Mashka leaps forward for another strike. Again, could put that down as a stunt, but we already know that these stunts are needed for this scene anyway. Um, and it's only the very specific ones that are different in some way from another one that we need to highlight. So the diving underneath, we could potentially need a crash mat, so we're going to put that separately. But him just swinging for it, again, is very similar to um, another one we highlighted where... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Begin swinging for her. So that's very similar. Um, again... Leaps forth another strike, dodges another strike. Again, don't need really need to highlight like this. We could if we wanted to, but we already know this whole scene is going to be choreographed anyway, so it's not really going to be that useful. Um, more strikes. Mashkar swings for a head stroke, which Malika avoids, and Shakar force pushes her to the floor. Okay, so the force push is clearly going to be some form of visual effect. Uh, it may not. We may do it practically, but for the sake of making it simpler for us to see we'll put it down as a visual effect because it's going to involve again this is comes down to another limitation of studio binders that a force push would also have a lot of sounds involved a lot of different elements to make it up it's not just one specific element but i can only tag it as one element which is a bit of a bit of a shame but you know it is what it is so and then pushes her to the floor um again this is gonna be a stunt another crash map but this is slightly different so we're gonna put it has a separate element. Uh, there is no death, there is no force. Malika quickly rips off the cloth. She quickly rips the cloth from her eyes. So, do we need to highlight this one? Possibly. We will, and we'll put that down as costumes, just because it's something we need to think about. We need to make sure it's it's able to be ripped off of her head. Um, otherwise, you know, we, we might, t you know, it too tightly or something and it's it becomes difficult so it's useful to have everything that you can mark so as you can see this this is that's the first pass done um it's obviously useful to go through the scene more than once and think about everything you know i may go back and i may highlight some of those things i skipped over but it really kind of you know you, you'll do this more than once um but from just that quick, you know, that was a few minutes, you know, we know we've got two cast members, there's two costume elements, there's a thin cloth, and then her ripping the thin cloth, the thin cloth from her eyes. Again, probably don't really need to highlight that second one, but I'm going to do because it's, it's, again, it's quite a personal thing, personal process this, so you kind of do it how it works for you. That works for me. Um, we've got three stunts. We've actually got more stunts than that, but we've got three sort of stunt elements. We've got the swinging, which is going to be choreographed, the diving, and then falling on the floor. So they're all the three main parts we need. We've only got one visual effect in here, which is a lightsaber, uh, which is the force push rather, um, which is again, that's a bit mis, you know, misleading because we've actually got the lightsaber down here, which is actually two more visual effect elements, but they're marked separately. Um, and then we've got one sound, which is the hill humming. 
Um, and also there are way more uses for Studio Binder than just this. This is just, as you can see, this is just one um, element of Studio Binder. This is just the breakdown. So we can go to the reports, which is gonna tell you exactly what is in. So you can see from scene one here, there's a couple of visual effect elements. I'm not gonna show you too much because I don't wanna give too much away, but that will give you a full breakdown report of the film once it's finished of course once you've finished the breakdown so that's super useful you can send that out to your visual effects guys your sound guys to anyone who needs it and you can instantly see exactly what is in the scene who is in it what props you need what costumes you need everything like that it's super super easy um, and then you can also have a look by element so i haven't finished the breakdown um, i've done a few scenes but you can see so far we have 18 elements um, or 18 cast members should i say there's eight costumes so far Again, no animals, no livestock, don't need any of those, easy peasy. Um, special equipment, drones and stuff. So that's something to look out for is if there's a specific shot that is listed in the scene that you think, oh, actually, we may need a drone or maybe a gimbal or something like that. You can tag that as special equipment and then you can leave a little comment as to what the equipment actually is you need because that would be helpful. Again, here's my, you can create your own custom elements as well. You know, it doesn't just have to be what they've got. I've created the lightsaber one so far. I may go and create more. Again, stunts, set dressing, vehicles, everything's all there. Super easy to use. Um, and it's also one of the most important aspects of the pre-production of the film is to break the film down to its, you know, every single component it has, because that's really going to help you in budgeting it. Because you're going to be able to say to your writer or director, actually, this is not feasible. You know, we can't have 50 visual effects shots. It's just too much. And then, you know, they can take on board your breakdown and they can adjust their script. And it just makes the whole process way easier. So yeah, there we go, Studio Binder. So I hope that was useful. I know it wasn't the most exciting vlog in the world, but it is a very important one, if, especially if you're looking to make your own film, your own Star Wars film. Um, because, you know, many of you may not be filmmakers, but you may want to do something like this in the future, which is great, go for it. But knowing how to properly break down a script and to properly do all these elements of filmmaking is very important because it will save you a lot of time and money in the future, especially when you go to film it. So stay tuned. We'll have another vlog coming out in a couple of weeks and we will keep you updated via our podcast as well on the progress of the um, whole film, how it's all going. So if you want to listen to that, it's over on iTunes or on our YouTube channel. So it's youtube.com forward slash Wrath of the Empire or iTunes, just type in Wrath of the Empire and it will come up. And you can just hear me and Kyle rambling on about just absolute rubbish for a couple of hours or an hour rather. Um, but we'll talk about Game of Thrones, you know, all sorts of stuff um, as well as the film. So it's pretty interesting. Go over there and check that out if you want. But otherwise, I will see you in a couple of weeks in the next vlog. Of it as well. So what's well, been going firstly, on in the world um, of Wrath of the Empire? Yeah, let's talk about the film first. So, uh... Well, because it's our first episode, I suppose we can talk about kind of